Hey guys, what's up? It's Bonk from ProGaming.com and today we are checking out the SteelSeries Xi Laser Mouse and I've actually had this for probably about six months so I put it through some rigorous testing and first of all, this mouse is one of my favorite mouse, mice, meese, mouse, whatever, that I've ever owned. Uh, for one, it's ambidextrous so right hand, left hand players can use it so that's that's really cool. I have a lot of left hand um, left hand friends, which means nothing. But anyways, uh, also we have eight buttons. Everything looks good on it. It's just super sleek. The design is incredible. So one of my favorite my, uh, mice of all time, for sure. Uh, I would say the coolest part about this mouse is it actually has a, a built-in LCD screen, and it. It has a drivers built into it and your profiles built into it. So basically, once you set up your mouse, you're not going to have to set it up again. You can go to any computer and just play how you like to play it all the time. So it's great for tournament play and would recommend it to any competitive gamer out there looking for one of the best competitive mouses known to man. Um, so like I said, eight buttons, um, which is pretty standard. I mean, you don't really, you, I don't really utilize them myself. Uh, especially the ones over on the uh, right hand side. I don't I don't know. I don't know why I don't but Just a personal preference. Um, it does have a 6.5 foot uh, Braided nylon cord, which is great. No tangles. No problems there plenty of length like you can have your computer like all the way over there and still be good You know what I mean? So it's good stuff there. Also the uh, Once I get it back. Hang on. It's gonna take a minute <laughs> once I get the uh, um, the USB thing back. It is uh, gold plated as well, um, which doesn't really mean too much, but better connectivity, whatever. So, uh, very good, very very good mouse. And I think uh, if if they were to improve this mouse, the only thing I wish that they would add is a little bit more weight. It is very light. Um, the laser is actually really good. It's uh, twelve thousand uh, FPS, which is uh, fast, like. Effing fast, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's really good, really, really good uh, traction. Does I believe 150 feet per second, or inches? Yeah, 150 inches, 150 feet would be crazy. 150 inches uh, per second, which is kind of ridiculous if you actually think about it. So really good, really good mouse. Um, there are some downsides to it though. Uh, what I've noticed, if you have USB on boot, like on in your BIOS settings or whatever. When you do it uh, and you have it plug, you have your mouse plugged in, it will try to boot from your mouse, which is kind of funny. So I mean, you have to either turn off your BIOS or just unplug the mouse as you boot, and that's what I do with my laptop because whatever I have my own reasons for that. But just a little nitpick there. I wish it wouldn't try to boot from my mouse, but you know whatnot. So we have uh, the Teflon pads it takes up 16% of it. So, you know, moving it around on the table, moving it around on a mouse pad, it's very smooth. Um, I wish I had like one of those glide pads to show you, but it just slips. It just, it's very smooth. It's basically, you're playing games like this with, you don't even feel the mouse. It's just very smooth, very subtle. Just it's, you're in the game, you're in the zone. So very, very good design. So huge plus to steel series with that. Another thing that I forgot to mention was when you go through to select your profile, you actually use the side buttons here and uh, you go through and select which profile you want. So let's say you have a profile set up for your MMO games or your FPS games, whatnot, and like different sensitivity settings, everything like that. You can go through and select them using the side buttons and you'll actually see which profile you're selecting on the LCD screen on the mouse, which is really, really cool. And you go to select it by using the center button. Now in game, if you're you, if you want to change your sensitivity really fast, you can actually set it up so you have three different sensitivities, and you can set that up using the the software that that gets installed. Um, so when you're in game, you can set it up. Okay, I want like this this many um, frames per second, this many frames per second for the next level, this many frames per second. So that way, it's you have kind of like a mid range. So like let's say you're not shooting so well that day, you're just warming up. So you start off like with a slower sensitivity or something like that. You can do that very quickly instead of having to go through the game options, which I like a lot. So to recap the whole thing, I do recommend this to anybody um, just because it's one of the one of my favorite mice that I've ever used. Mouse, meese, mice, whatever. Everybody's going to troll. Haters going to hate, whatever. So um, my favorite features are definitely the profile settings that I don't have to go download all these drivers and all this other crap. Um, and the cord length is amazing, no tangles, it's very portable, I love bringing it everywhere I go, it works very well with mobile gaming, for tournaments, everything, just a super solid mouse, um, 
and I do recommend it. So if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. For more reviews like this, make sure to hit up our website, progaming.com. Once again, my name is Bonk, and I'll see you guys later.